Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Learn Smart Coding. So this is the continuation of the previous video which is API management and this is part 2. So in this video we will see how to set up the API management in the portal, the Azure portal and also we will uh, see how to add the backend API into the API gateway and access that from your Azure portal and from the API management service. Okay. Come, let's dive in. So I have opened up the portal.azure.com and if you come to the search box, you can type the API management wherein you will see API management service. So click on that and let's click on create API management service. So it will bring up the regular information board, right? The You have to fill up all this information. So I'm going to choose my subscription. I'm going to create a new resource group so that if I don't want, I can actually delete all the resources that's coming under this group. Okay, so I've named it like that. You can choose if you already have a resource group. All right, so I will have to choose the region and then the resource name. Okay, so here is the resource name. So the name that you provide here, basically for your API management, the API gateway itself. So don't name something related to any of your backend API. Name it in general, which covers all of your backend API. So in my case, I'm uh, naming it as learn smart coding apis dev okay um so under this i'll be able to host different apis okay so now the workspace name is uh the name and the email address that you have to provide i'm gonna give my uh channel name okay or i would say it's a development purpose so i can just give a development and then the administrator email is the email of uh, email that you will have to receive the details so i've put that and then i'm going to choose the developer plan you see this there are many plans right the first one is the developer plan so if you go to google and search the api management pricing it will take you to this website here you can show uh, you can actually see how much has uh, been cost for each of the plan okay for demo purpose i'm choosing only the developer uh, option i'm not going with anything else and you can actually change this region currency and all those things and it will give you some rough estimate if you really wanted to do it for your demo purpose that's fine uh, but if you wanted to con start it to use for your personal use uh, just keep in mind that this is not free so you'll have to have some short amount incurred okay so for me it's okay i'm gonna choose the developer account there's no SLA if you have noticed it. So next is the monitoring thing. See here uh, we can set up the app insights for uh, doing some analysis, but let's do that later. Let's go with the basic stuff, right? See scaling is not applicable itself for developer plan. If I change the plan like to premium or standard, then it will allow you to scale. Okay, scaling is how many instance of API management will be deployed. That's called scaling up, okay? Anyway, for us, it's not there, so zero then let's go to manage entity we don't need all these things okay and then let's go to protocol this is all like if you want to allow these things you can check but ideally speaking tls 1.2 and above is what is allowed 1.1 and 1.0 is deprecated so don't do that tax is just only for identification purpose so in during the billing or uh, if you want to segregate or like you know group it by the DAC name you can go do it and let the final step is the review and install and uh, everything is done validation is good i'm going to hit on the create the play the deployment started so deployment is in progress and uh, guys it takes some time it's not like the other resources it really takes some time so if you're planning to do along with me do this and then continue to watch my video and uh, by the time you finish the video you will be able to come here okay so once the deployment process is completed, you will receive the email that the API management service instance is ready and you can start using it. Okay. This email will be triggered from the Microsoft because that resource especially is taking some time. Let me know in the comment section how long it took for you. And uh, basically this is how the, uh, you know, the email will look. So once it is done, we will explore the, the resources. All right, so after waiting for some time, the deployment is done. I clicked on go to resource. This is how uh, we landed on the one that we created. If you see the one that I'm highlighting, that's the developer portal URL. Okay, so 
we will we will go and see how the dollar portal looks and then the gateway url is the one that i just highlighted the second one okay so uh, developer portal is to access from developer side gateway is basically to access the api directly along with the base url and then you can all see all the properties like pricing tier you know custom domains and all those things they are all uh, like you know advanced stuff we don't need it right now we need to understand first what is api management and how to work with that okay so and if you see the by default there is something called echo api that will be present but we will do our own api okay if you go to apis okay these are the options uh basically the echo api like i said that's for testing purpose microsoft has given but you can actually create apis using all of these options any of these options okay so we will choose uh, open api shortly but you you see this you can even take the direct azure resource and create the api management like if you have functions if you have any of the app servers which eventually have the api you can do it now let's go to github.com then this is the api that i already have it okay you can go and take the code and this is what is hosted here okay so this is the url which is hosted and you can see all these uh, api uh, returning some valid data okay so you know if you want you can click on this category all and see the data is coming uh, you will you will see some data coming up because the ui is actually using this okay so we have some data and we can actually go to products and we can have this data but like, like i said like all these apis together is one one um uh, you know one service i would say which is dealing with the products essential product stuff okay so we are gonna use this and you can see all this data you can even download it if you want to take a look at the data in order for us to go with the open api it needs the definition of the api so if you already have the swagger if you browse all the way through up you see this there's a swagger.json if i open that this this json will have the complete definition of all the requests that you saw in the swagger ui okay this is what api management needs okay so let's copy that we know the url and if you come here and click on basic and paste the json it will read this display name and the name from that you can actually change it but i'm going to leave it the way it is and uh, you know you don't need to touch any of the other stuff even if you click on full okay um there are other things will come like let's like say if you click on full there will be other more information like what kind of uh protocol has to be supported do you want to create product stacks so don't worry go with the basic we will create the product we will show you how to do it so i'm clicking on create now you see this under all api our new api started showing up and you can see this is in the design view okay if you click on any of this it will tell you its designs okay but we need to do a quick testing so what you have to do is uh, you basically have to uh, click on the test there's something called test next to the settings okay you see this test click on this test now these apis can be tested from our api gateway i'm just hitting the send for the get all categories and you know shortly you should receive the response yes we got the response now this is how it works right so api management is actually sending a request to get all categories and behind the scene that is executed and then returning the data okay now similarly if you click on the products you will receive the product information right so we know how the api has to be uh, onboarded to your api management now we have api the next thing is how to set up the developers account thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and Never forget to click on the bell icon.